Not at their desks. Uh, the show and starts. We have a show, yeah. In like two minutes. Okay. Um, All right. Cyborgs, where are they at? They are unfortunately in the shop. Okay. Um, man, we really should have got their phone numbers. Yeah, you'd think after you know a couple months working together, that would have been a pretty logical first step. Not a hundred and first for us, apparently. Yeah, I okay. I could try calling Clooney in, but he's still really bitter about Jeremy winning out the spot. Yeah, he was not happy at all. And shares out because she's completely intimidated by Kelly. Yeah, no, no good there. All right, well, you and I could do it. I think that's a terrible idea. I think you're right. No one in their right mind would want to do a two-hour morning show. No, not at all. Okay. There's one more thing we could try. And what is that? The call. Oh my god, the call. Oh, the first Fox AM starts now! This is Ozark's Fox AM. We made it, Kelly. We did. We, we saw it. the call in the air. We've come to the rescue. <laughs> let's just sit down and yes. relax for a second. That gave Woo. me an idea for next Halloween, by the way. Batman and Robin. Okay, which one am I? I'll be Robin. <laughs> okay. I don't mind. <laughs> Am. I'm Jeremy Rabe. That's right, and I'm Kelly Smith. Thanks for joining us. I'm sure glad we could make it. Yes. Whew. <laughs> I tell you what, if, if we hadn't seen that Fox AM, heard the call and seen it in the sky, I don't think we would have made it today. Ricola. <laughs> By the way, the people you saw in yes. that are our producers, Jake mm -hmm. and Gage, and they are the best sports ever because we talked them into doing that, and we're hoping to use them more. <laughs> In the show because we love them and they're so funny they and they are come so up funny. with Off great wall. ideas. I love it absolutely. Yeah, that was kind of their idea <laughs> about us always being late. And, and that's or... why they are where they are. As our producers, they're very creative and we love that about them. So it's very cool. So happy yes. Thursday, is it? Yes. Guess what? We're almost done with our third week. It's amazing. Three weeks in. I'm I so had to ask Jake and Gage, by the way, yesterday. Yeah. I was like, is this our second week or third week? Yep. <laughs> Three weeks in. I did not know. Yeah, you're looking mighty uh, dam damper today. Damper or dapper? Damper. Dapper. Dapper, damper, damper. Dapper. You're damper. Dapper. You're damper than me and dapper than me. Look at you. I don't, the blue rose. I don't feel damp. Oh, this is my little boutonniere up there. Just a little. That is so cute. <laughs> just a little. I wish, I wish Wait, I Wait, I'm had... seeing if I feel damp. Just a little. But bit. let me just say this. Well, I'm a little damp from all the running trying to well, get true. I'm damper and you're dapper. You're glistening. I'm glistening. That reminds glistening. me of that saying from the 20s, a dapper Dan. Do you have yeah, heard that? A dapper I Dan? I totally, I totally have heard that. <laughs> Something from the 20s, but yeah, anyway, yeah. we do have an action-packed show for you today, literally action-packed. We've been yes. frantically we've, working we've this got, morning. Yes, lots of guests in the wings and some on the way, and so we know we're going to have a And we're going to feature yeah. amazing businesses all over the Ozarks. We're so excited you're here this morning, but before we get to all of that, we're going to check in with Joe Morano, and today's headlines, Joe, how's it going? Oh, good morning, Joe. guys. Doing all right. Are you guys doing okay? We are good. Not I'm out of great. breath after running all the no, way from home to no, here we're very in about good. 15 yes. seconds. <laughs> I feel pretty good. It's I impressive, feel good. right? Yes. I'm going to warm your heart with this story, guys, all right? Yes. This is so cool. This is from uh, a tweet that we saw from CBS Sunday Morning. Um, Stella and John, two people that run a donut shop in Seal Beach, California, okay? They've run it for three decades, and Stella suffered a brain aneurysm, okay? Oh. That is sad, and, and the recovery for that is really, really tough, of course, right? So John has to run the shop and take care of, right. you know, get everything. the funds for everything. The community said, hey, let's do a Kickstarter for you, and John said, no, I don't want that, I don't want that. So what they decided to do is say, okay, what we're going to do now, customers, everyone has to buy a minimum of 12 donuts if you go in. You can't go oh. in and say, I need one or two of these. So they decided to buy, they buy out the store every day because when oh. you're done with the donuts, you're done for the day. You yeah. can't just make more. Right. So he sells out every day before noon and he can spend the day with his wife and help her recover. And that's a great way for people to cool. chip in. And who doesn't want a donut? You can buy more for yourself, more 
for your exactly. friends. Buy it for work, things That's like right. that. How yeah. nice is that, I love right? That. What a great community. It's so nice of them to do. And so, yeah, they've just said, okay, he, he's not saying, okay, we'll take your money. Right. They'll just say, we'll, we'll he's, he's got to serve him donuts. We'll we'll take his donuts. Donut. So, yeah. So he's still making money. He's still spending time with his wife, who is in recovery and getting better, but it's such a long process. So it's really nice to see. Oh, that's so tough. You know? That diagnosis is rough. That is, that is rough, but very good for the folks of Seal Beach, California. Good so, news. not bad. Love right? that. All right. Uh, this next one, we match this couch all right. We, we really we blend. We do. Everybody's we kind great. Of We're blending. All right. This <laughs> next one, this is strange, guys. All right. The MIT researchers are saying lasers could attract aliens to Earth. You ready mm, for this? Okay. By doing this, literally this, MIT is a well-known, renowned institution, all right? And they're saying, let's project a laser out of Earth into space. It'll be like leaving a porch light on, and then we'll bring aliens over to Earth right now. And we want to bring aliens to Earth? That's exactly what our friend Elisa said. She'll get her thoughts in a minute. But okay. uh, the study suggests the light from a laser would spark interest in extraterrestrials, guys. Like they don't know about us already if there here's, are Here's the there. thing. I could take the SAT 40 times and never get a high enough score to get an MIT. I probably had this thought when I was eight years old, right? Isn't Absolutely. That, this is a little weird. I think it it's a little crazy. strange. You're it's very crazy. quiet on this. I <laughs> I don't know why you'd want to bring aliens here because you're just inviting something that could be bad. That's another good point. That's a, yeah. You know that's saying? also like, something strange, right? You see all the horror movies with the aliens that are mean. They're very mm -hmm. rarely alien movies where they come and like, yeah, let's be best friends. <laughs> Can I that's tell you? That's what Clint the cameraman said. Yeah. But I've read a book that says that aliens are our friends and that they come around when we are getting into the idea of war and things like that. Mm. Uh, it's a very different concept, but you never know. Oh, interesting. Yeah. They said they have the lasers that are brighter than the sun to project right now. They don't have a telescope that can do it. And when I read that, I thought, that's Elon Musk written all over it. You know, he's going to say, oh, I'll get on it. I'm that guy's that. got 40 different ideas in the works all the time. Though, oh, all the time, yeah. I love yeah, that, yeah, Joe. A little strange. <laughs> yeah, we were talking yesterday about meteorites and all the things that happen in the solar planets and that sort yeah, of thing. Yeah. yeah, so there's some... Well, I'm, I am, just look so puzzled. I, <laughs> I am puzzled because it's all the thing we talked about, ghosts, Halloween week, yeah. and now aliens. I personally mm. don't know how I feel. I don't think there would be aliens. I just don't believe in them. I d yeah, okay. That I makes so sense. it's like you're yeah. sitting out lazy being spending lots of money. At, a, at an institution that is so well known yes. for brains exactly. and smarts and things. Yeah. Elisa's got our weather, but I need Elisa's thoughts what right now. What are your now. thoughts, what do you Elisa? Have, Elisa? My initial reaction was that we can use that brain power to figure out other problems and other solutions. Yes. There are, yeah. We have a lot of other environmental issues that need to be solved before we do that. I okay. agree. Easy enough. I, wait, Elisa, do you believe in aliens? Mm, mm. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Um, we're starting out pretty dry and chilly, though, out there this morning. It's 39 degrees in Branson with an east wind and some cloudy skies. The radar is showing returns of some light rain or light snow, uh, but we're looking at mainly just cloud cover out there this morning because these dew points at the surface are very dry. So what's happening is, is it's raining up here, it gets to the dry air, and it evaporates or disintegrates, and we're not seeing that rain hit the ground. Temperatures are cold. 34 in Rowell, 40 in Springfield, and 40 in Ava this morning. We're looking at a dry morning commute, and then by the dismissal and through the evening commute, we're looking at rain showers coming through, possibly changing over to snow, mainly up in central Missouri. Uh, so again, here's that school forecast, 44 degrees with some showers by dismissal. That future cast is showing the rain coming through the early this afternoon. We'll have snow mix into the north by this evening and overnight. Very little to light snow accumulations, if any. We're looking at mainly grassy surfaces up from Clinton and Lake of the Ozarks. Springfield could get a couple of flakes to mix in, but I'm not looking at any accumulations. Temperatures drop to freezing overnight tonight. We clear out the skies Friday, and then by Saturday morning, record territory for those low temperatures. Freeze watches are in effect as we get those temperatures into the upper teens and lower 20s. 17 is my forecast for Saturday morning that would tie the record from 1960. Then we've got another cold wave coming next week with more overnight lows in the 20s. If you're taking a veteran out on Sunday, 44 degrees with some of that chilly cloud cover. Again, we're looking at multiple cold waves, so more rain and snow showers possible by next Monday. Jeremy, Kelly, back to you. Thanks, Elisa. You know what? I think I believe in ghosts because I have a picture and maybe aliens here. I believe Elisa, when she says there's cold weather coming, and I'm just glad I bought a new coat. Oh, and, and it looks really good on you. Yes. Very good. All right, coming up, uh, Nest Interiors is going to be here when we get back, and we're going to give a giveaway for a gift card in their store, so don't change that channel. We'll be right back.
Yes, I did just post that photo, I think. They were social. They love see. it already. Yeah, they do. Welcome back to Ozark's Fox AM. You know, we love, Kelly and I love yes. to decorate for the holidays. Or Don't anytime. You? Or anytime, actually. actually yes. I'll decorate year round if I have to. That's right. it's so, <laughs> because it's, so fun. it's fun to change out the decor it is. items. It is. And, you know, we have a lot of great local designers around Springfield area. Lots of talent. Oh my gosh. So much. I think I'm good until I see these people. <laughs> and they're so amazing. Yeah. So we're so happy to have Nest Interiors here with us. They're going to show us a few things, and we're going to do a drawing later on, on yes. from our Facebook page. Absolutely. So we want right. to bring in our good friend Natasha Stanley. Natasha. Natasha. Nice to Good, you. Good morning. morning. Thanks for coming in with Thank Nest Interiors and Design. Correct. Can you please tell us about your wonderful decor design business? So we have a storefront located in Ozark, Missouri, off of CC Highway right behind Lambert's. Uh, there you'll find a wide variety of various modern, industrial, farmhouse mix of items mm -hmm. um, that are high quality and at affordable prices. Uh, we also do redesign as far as in your home for your current spaces, make it more warm and welcoming and to your liking. Mm -hmm. uh, we can do staging for homes as far as on the market, um, spec homes, those types of wow. things too. So and I've brought a variety of things to kind of show you guys today. Um, yes. We have a kind of a spotlight as far as we like to carry a lot of local businesses. We're very uh, small business, pro small business, right. and like to also help support our other local small businesses. We offer um, our Got Your Six Coffee Reborn um, candles. Is we love both of those businesses, yes, by the do. way. And we yes. love that all the businesses that are local help all the other local businesses. Definitely That's a team just fantastic. Yes. And by the way, I think we have Got Your Six Coffee coming on this week. Oh. I think maybe tomorrow, which is exciting. Oh, so we'll good. have them on the show. And we love Reborn Candle. I have one burning in my house every night, by the way. They yeah. smell them. awesome. <laughs> yes, they do. So people can hire you to come in and help them revamp a space in their home. Absolutely. And we can work with budgets um, very small to uh -huh. extravagant. Just as far as um, all types of 
needs from a, mm -hmm. a simple dining placement for the holidays to a whole room redesign, selecting finishes, paint colors, all of those. Speaking of yes. the holidays, because Kelly yes. and I are seeing these, we love these. When you're decorating for the holidays, your table is important. That's where mm -hmm. all the magic happens yes. for like Thanksgiving and Christmas. Talk about these beautiful place yes. settings that I actually want right Gorgeous. now. I'm going to hold one of them up a little bit. So right here we have a little bit more traditional place setting. Um, you'll see a variety of textures. We've created a lot of depth with the floral, your plates, um, little accents to help make mm -hmm. that space more warm and inviting for your guests and personalized. We've had a, got a little sign here, you know, Let's fall in love. Oh, I love Happy it. Happy Thanksgiving. You know, Natasha, I've never seen uh, the wooden place mats, or what do you call them? Just chargers. Mm -hmm. have, you, have you seen that chair like this? Yes, one? I've actually done that in my home with the wood round. It's like a tree log that's sliced thin. I've used that as a charger for my Thanksgiving table last year, which I love that idea because it's so simple and rustic, but so elegant. <laughs> A tree laying in my yard. I'm going to go out. Don't cut it. You should. It fixed up. Yes. Absolutely. So, so this type of stuff, you can come into somebody's home and get them ready to go. And most of this stuff is available at Nest Interiors. Correct. We'll have everything from the table runners to your napkins, mm -hmm. the plateware, the accents and decor. And these are these cute little pie plates here. Thankful, Adorable. blessed, grateful. Adorable. I love this. And <laughs> I, I also too. love all this decor. I, now, Kelly's been to my house. This is my kind this of stuff, is, right? It's kind of, it's kind of farm style in a way. I call it farmhouse chic. Farmhouse chic. That's exactly. what I say. <laughs> Isn't this a cool way to serve each little plate? It's a very little, personalized. A little it makes dinner everybody feel or very a little welcome. Uh, dessert. Do you I think I that. have time, Kel, to actually make 17 little pies for my family? You know, I don't you know, don't, but I think you might do it. Yes. Um, now, Natasha, we're so excited because Nest Interiors, mm -hmm. you have the storefront, you have great things. We're actually going to give away a $40 gift card. Ooh. To Nest Interiors, and we're going to pick the winner live at the end of the show. So you have to go to our Ozarks Fox AM Facebook page right now, and see here's where you can find us. And I posted a photo of this beautiful decor items from Nest Interiors. If you share, comment, and like, you'll be entered to win. Winner will be picked live at the end of today's show. So you got to go enter right now. Your stuff is beautiful. We love to give things away, and we love to give cool things away like this. So you're going to want to enter and get a chance to win. So once again, where are you located? How can people reach you? You can reach us at 417-485-4044 is our store phone number. Um, we're located, again, in Ozark behind Lambert's. Everybody knows where Lambert's yes. is. Um, we're in the Hopedale Plaza over there. Uh, we're open 10 to 5, Monday through Saturdays, and 11 to 5 on Sundays. Um, and you can get a variety of these items. We also do refinished furniture, home decor. All of it. We can, we can help you. you. Thanks, Natasha. Natasha. Thanks we so appreciate much. you coming Thank up. You. All right, coming up on Ozarks Fox AM, Lashco will be joining us. And Farm to Counter is here with some fresh produce. Don't go away. We'll be right back. Yes. Let's see how many people like this so far, Natasha. Okay. We oh. refresh. Yes, okay. immediately. So we'll yeah. just go. Let's check in.
Welcome back to Ozarks Fox AM. It's time to check in with the headlines. Joe, what's making headlines? Good morning, everyone. We want to let you know what's happening around the Ozarks. Jury selection starts today for the man charged with killing the mother of Gypsy Blanchard back in June of 2015. Nicholas Godijan was in court yesterday for a hearing to determine what will and will not be presented during the trial this coming Tuesday. His defense will be that because of his autism, he had a diminished mental capacity at the time of the crime and was not able to deliberate before committing it. It's a defense that he wants a mental Mental health expert to testify to, but prosecutor Dan Patterson says that is for the jury to decide. Today, attorneys will go through 80 jurors with the goal of getting down to 12 by tomorrow. The trial starts Tuesday, and Goto John tells us that he won't be taking the stand, but he might if there is a sentencing phase. And in a developing story, this past Tuesday, of course, voters made the decision to legalize medical marijuana in Missouri by passing Amendment 2. So up next is implementation. Chip Shepard with New Approach Missouri says things now shift to the Department of Health. Patients will have to be certified with a qualifying condition, and they will send those reports to the health department, who will issue patient cards. Shepard says there are deadlines the health department will aim to hit for patient access by late next year. It's going to be highly regulated by the Department of Health. Under our constitutional amendment, it's mandated deadlines for the Department of Health. So the Department of Health has to hit certain marks. Um, and if they hit all those marks, then we'll have medicine by next Christmas or next January. So we're 13, 14, 15 months away. And finally, a proposition to raise the hourly minimum wage in Missouri from $7.85 to $12 an hour past Tuesday with more than 60% of the vote. The change is not immediate. It'll be phased in over the next five years. Here's a look at that plan. This is according to the news leader. In 2019, the hourly minimum wage will increase to $8.60 an hour. Then in 2020, it'll increase by $0.85 cents every year until it reaches $12 an hour in 2023. All of those increases take place on January 1st. Also want to note that too. Elisa Rappa has a check of your weather on this Thursday. Good morning, Joe. We're starting out chilly. It's 39 degrees in Branson with cloud cover and dry roads. The radar is showing some returns of maybe a light rain or a light snow, but we've got very dry air in the lower levels of the atmosphere. You can see these dew points in the 30s, so uh, it's evaporating before it gets to the ground. That's why we're dry. 40 degrees in Springfield, 35 up at Lake of the Ozarks, so a chilly start here this morning. We'll keep these temperatures below average again in the middle 40s because of thick cloud cover and showers moving through. We'll stay cloudy but dry for the first half of the day. Showers arrive from the west after noon and then about 2-3 o'clock in Springfield we'll have some rain showers arrive in time for dismissal and the evening commute. You can see these rain showers about 2 o'clock continuing to push eastward in the Ozarks. All rain, that's what the green is. Then some of this blue starts to creep forward. That's uh, some of that snow change over this evening and overnight, especially up north in central Missouri. Springfield might see a flake or two, but we're looking at areas north of Springfield with the best chance of seeing some of that snow. Accumulations is going to be very, very light, mainly on grassy surfaces and in Clinton, Lake of the Ozarks, not looking at any accumulation in Springfield. Temperatures drop to freezing overnight tonight. We clear out the skies Friday and then freeze watches are in effect for Saturday morning as temperatures drop into the teens and 20, 17 for a low. Saturday morning would tie a record from 1960. Another cold wave comes by early next week. Veterans Day is on Sunday. If you're taking your veteran out. It will be chilly at 44 degrees. Ozarks Fox AM will be right back. Good morning, everyone. I'm Joe Morano. A proposition to raise the hourly minimum wage in Missouri from $7.85 to $12 an hour passed Tuesday night with 60% of the vote, more than that, actually. The change is not immediate, though. It'll be phased in over five years. According to the news leader, in 2019, the hourly minimum wage will be $8.60. Then in 2020, it'll increase 85 cents each year until it reaches $12 an hour in the year 2023. 
Jury selection starts today for the man charged with killing the mother of Gypsy Blanchard in June of 2015. Nicholas Godijan was in court yesterday for a hearing to determine what will and will not be presented during his trial coming on Tuesday. His defense is that because of his autism, he had a diminished mental capacity at the time of the crime and was not able to deliberate before committing it. It's a defense that he wants a mental health expert to testify during the trial, but prosecutor Dan Patterson says that'll be up for the jury to decide. Today, attorneys will go through 80 jurors with the goal of getting it down to 12 by the end of tomorrow. Let's check in with Elisa Rafa for your forecast. Good morning, Joe. Cloudy skies today. A temperature of 44 will be chilly. We'll have rain showers arrive late this afternoon and could mix with snow by this evening, mainly up to the north. We're looking at some snow showers up to the north, rain to the south overnight tonight, little to no snow accumulation. Then a freeze watch is in effect Friday night into Saturday morning. A temperature of 17 would tie the record. CBS This Morning will be right back. Farm to Welcome back to Ozarks Fox AM. You know, Kelly and I went to Branson to see some amazing tree houses. Check this out. My name is Shannon Brewer, and I'm owner and managing member of Branson Treehouse Adventures. What made me want to get into this, my husband and I, where we, uh, he likes to build. He had drafting engineering background and just likes to do construction, and we love business. So we, through a mutual friend, met up with another couple who are now our partners, and he had been watching Treehouse Masters on television. And uh, I, those treehouses tree, are amazing. They are, and they have so each one of them is a different style, and she has so much fun coming up with a new theme to do. Yes, and we're going to be featuring several of these with the different styles and themes over the next few weeks because yes. they're so cute. We were actually amazed. We were with the decor items. It's all about decor today, I guess. It is it's and, so fun, and they they just keep they're just expanding all the time. And I said, how hard is it to come up with a new theme for a whole new house? She said, it's really not that hard. No. No, she has. She's creative too. She has great ideas and that sort of thing. And what I love too is the floor plans are all different. And when I yes. walked in, one of them I said, I would just like to have one like this for a little guest house. I know. Because the floor plans are really cool. Like I could see myself having a little pool house or guest house in the woods, just that small little tiny house kind of living. And that's the nice thing that people can choose what they like the best and she doesn't skimp on anything. When you look at the detail, it's everywhere. You know what I mean? Every single yes, absolutely. I totally understand. Because I, I, I love that she wants people to get that escapism. Yes. Like when you're coming on vacation in Branson, yes. a lot of people, you know, in Branson yeah. are on vacation it's, and they rent these. And it's, o it's over by Silver Dollar City and um, we had technical difficulties on that. We'll run that again for you so you'll get to see that. But it's over um, by Silver Dollar City or Stonebridge area mm -hmm. over there and they yep. bought the land. It was already there and they're just doing great things. It's kind of close that. to one of our favorite places, Billy Gales. It's very close. Very close. I th close. Didn't we go there around the same time? I think we did. Yeah. yeah. I love Billy Gales, by the way, but yeah. And a lot of people like Billy Gales. Oh, yeah. We posted Billy Gales on our social media and, and got crazy, yes. tons and tons of views. Speaking of, don't forget to go enter to win the $40 gift card from Nest Interiors, by the way. It's on our Ozarks Fox AM Facebook page. Yeah. All right. So, hey, but coming yep. up, do you want to feel good, Cal? Do you want a good of feel good story? Of course I do. Do you okay. have one? I do. Watch okay. as John Adams and our Ozarks Fox team pays a visit to Sunshine Elementary to reward a special teacher with some special recognition as this month's Golden Apple Award winner. The Golden Apple Award is brought to you by Blue Current Credit Union. 
I'm John Adams, and I had the pleasure of going out to Sunshine Elementary to deliver this month's Golden Apple Award. A special treat for me because I attended Sunshine when I was much, much younger. My name's John. I'm from Ozarks Box here in Springfield, and I have a special announcement to make today. Janie Galbraith, you have been nominated, and you are our <laughs> November Golden Apple Award winner. Aww. Mrs. Galbraith is the school's special education teacher, and the award isn't the only thing she gets for being the November Golden Apple recipient. <laughs> and from, from Ozarks Fox and Blue Current Credit Union, we have a $250 Visa gift card for you as well. <laughs> she is one that embraces all people with both arms, and she definitely looks for the positive in situations. And to hear that a family wrote such kind words about her is not surprising at all. The rewards are the students and their parents. Uh, just knowing that I'm here to help meet those gaps that their peers have already achieved, but we're working on that. We just say we're not there yet. We're, it's not that we're not going to get there. It just takes us a little bit longer. The parents are wonderful that I work with and grandparents. Um, it's really a community effort. I, I'm still in shock, but... Uh, I really appreciate it, and I appreciate the parents that think that I'm that deserving of such an award. If you know a teacher or anyone in the field of education that you feel deserves recognition, log on to OzarksFirst.com, go to the Golden Apple Award page under the Contest tab, and make your nomination. You might just see them right here on Ozarks Fox. The Golden Apple Award was brought to you by Blue Current Credit Union. And that does make you feel good. You know what else makes me feel good? Fresh produce. And I love to grow my own produce in the summer. I'm an avid gardener, but I hate winter because I can't grow my produce in winter here in Springfield. But I know a place where you can get some amazing produce year-round, and especially in the summertime, right here in Springfield. I'm so excited about Farm to Counter. Farm to Counter, is that correct? FarmToCounter.com, okay. that's where you go. Tell, tell us about Farm to Counter, Paul. Okay, so FarmToCounter.com is an online grocery delivery service. The neat thing about this right here, this is the first harvest for some of my winter farmers. So we have seasonal farmers and winter farmers. So this is the first thing, so you can expect that all winter long. Uh, spicy peppers, ghost peppers. I grow ghost peppers too. Do you? Oh I love gosh. ghost peppers. I <laughs> Those will wake you up in the morning. Yes, they will. <laughs> <laughs> Habaneros. Uh, we have cool local products like the wine drizzle that we just got in last week. Oh my gosh, so That good. sounds amazing. <laughs> and I'm telling you, if you've never, I, what I tell my friends from the city, I grew up in Dallas, if you've never had a tomato off the vine, you don't know what a tomato is because the ones at the grocery store to me are not tomatoes. The tomatoes you pick, there's just a flavor difference. You said these are the winter f farmers. Where, where are your winter farmers located? Tunis, Missouri mm -hmm. is one of my biggest winter farmers and actually Kimberling City, Missouri down on Tabor Rock Lake. That's awesome. <laughs> and you can get grade. this, if you can't get to the farmer's market, you can get this, wait, do you deliver we and deliver. you have an express store, right? Yes, yes, yes. So we have free delivery every week. You can pick between three different boxes. And then we also have Farm to Counter Express, uh, the world, uh, the America's first convenience store that does no high fructose corn syrup. That is awesome. <laughs> that sounds so healthy too. And I want to bring bring our farmer Bigby in here. Farmer Bigby. Good morning. You have a farm right here. This is your biggest local producer of fresh produce, and you're right here in Springfield. Actually, we are. We're located right across from Wickman Gardens. Uh, a lot of people don't know, but it's been in produce for almost 90 years, even before the city grew out and around it. So. Uh, Paul and I share the same love for food and getting fresh food to people, and we've been partnering for about four or five years, and so I custom grow a lot of stuff for him. If he asks, I'll try to get it going. You'll try to go. How big is your farm? I have 15 acres there, and I'm uh, blessed to have a couple neighbors. Fast Night Creek divides the property, and there's a couple neighbors that let me use about two acres up the creek and down the creek, so probably have right about 10 to 12 acres in production. Wow, in, right Springfield. in Springfield. Right, that's what <laughs> boggles my mind. You're like, 15 acres right here in the middle of Springfield. That's unheard of. Yeah, yeah and it's like, have you been farming all your life? I've been there for 32 years. Grew up with a love for it. Had grandparents on both sets of uh, both sides that uh, loved gardening. Mm -hmm. And so it just came natural to me. OK, I'm going to put you on the spot. Two questions. Well, actually, one, what is the easiest thing for our viewers to say? We're here in Missouri in Springfield. What's the easiest thing to grow? Well, this year, nothing. This was the most <laughs> difficult year I've ever had. Uh, 
probably green beans, sweet corn, something like that. Uh, difficult things, melons, uh, tomatoes sometimes can be really difficult. I've never had luck, yeah. good luck with melons. Peppers are easy too. Peppers, very good. I had a great pepper crop this yes. year, by the way. Peppers, yeah. and my tomatoes actually did well. But my favorite thing to do with my grandma was you go pick them from the garden, slice them in half, put a little salt, and then you eat them. Nothing like it. Nothing like that. Okay, now you can order these boxes. Can you pick what goes in the box that comes to you, or do you have pre-made selections? So we have three pre-made selections to make it easy for you so you don't have to make a shopping list, but you can fully customize your box. Okay. So in most options, there's over a hundred different substitutions for each thing. So let's wow. say that you don't like bread, which who doesn't like bread? I mean bread, Neighbors come on. Mill. Oh, neighbor's mill. Oh, <laughs> amazing. So you can substitute with different breads, different meats, different cheeses, things that aren't on that list. So we try to make the boxes as local as possible, mm -hmm. produce driven. So a lot of produce Absolutely. that you're going to get in there. What, so let's, let's dig into one of these boxes to so see. So this is our large box. Check this okay, out. Okay, large box. I'm already excited. <laughs> it looks so wrapped insulated. perfectly. So insulated. So you don't have to leave a cooler outside. Okay. Then you get a welcome to the family. Uh, Very cool. And then things like this. Check this Wait, out. Wait, I'm, I'm, first of all, I'm shocked. You have local chocolate milk in here. Local milk. What? Local chocolate milk. Local regular milk and chocolate milk. With the cream still on the top. <gasps> so you know that's good. Oh, that's yeah. the real stuff. Oh, yeah. Local eggs. You know what? My, I, I am very fortunate. My neighbor across the street gives me some fresh eggs and I give him produce. So we kind of have a change program, exchange program. Local cheese. Oh, I love it. You, I can't live without cheese. Local meats, all of our meats are 100% from Missouri. This are you ready awesome. for this? Okay. Yes. Wagyu. You ever had Wagyu? I have had Wagyu, actually. <laughs> yes, I have. It it's is your Wagyu Weekly. <laughs> Wagyu Weekly. <laughs> it's farm to counter. From Highlandville, Missouri. Re oh, wow. Less than 20 miles from our shop. Kobe Farms. I actually know that place. I do. So you got to load up. On, we always load up on the neighbor's so mill. Three every week. sizes, three sizes of boxes. Yep. Customizable. And you can do this all year long, even in the winter when I'm not growing, you're not growing. But you can get these anytime. If somebody wants oh, yeah. to reach you to order these boxes or just visit, what's the best way to contact you so they can get fresh produce in their house? FarmToCounter.com. And we actually have a special this week that we made just for you guys. It's called the Crazy 50 Coupon 50% 50 off of your first order if you order this week. You have to order this week for 50% off. That's a great value. Crazy 50. Crazy 50. <laughs> and you have a Facebook page, Farm to Counter. Oh, yeah. Farm and the counter. Express store located again, one more time. At Atlantic and Broadway, uh, right here on the north side of town. So we're trying to go to the north side where there wasn't as many food options. And I feel like the north side has one of the best food That's options. That's where I now. grow. I live on the north side. I'm a north sider. That's where I grow my, my vegetables. Farmer Bigby, thank you so much for coming Appreciate in. It. I, I want to get some tips from you after the show. No I'm, I'm growing some things, all right? <laughs> you have to check them out. Thank you guys so much for coming in thank early you. this morning. This makes me so happy. Local. <laughs> Think local. Eat local. I love that. Thanks so much. Don't go anywhere. We have so much more fun on Ozarks Fox AM. You don't want to miss a thing. We'll be right back. I haven't had chocolate milk in forever, and it's local, Absolutely. and the cream on top. <laughs>
Now, do you want me to move over further? How do you want us to be arranged here? Uh, not even close. I'm sorry, what? Uh, can we go ahead and get some mic checks? Just say and spell your names. Arash Ahmadnia, A R R A S H A H M A D. A S O N F E D E R E R. Welcome back. We're talking to Dr. Arash Ahmadnia and Jason Federer, who is the general manager with Dental Access at Denture, and you're the doc. Yes. Thank you both for coming on today. Now, first of all, let's talk about your dental practice here in town. How long have you been here? Um, Access Dental and Dentures has been in Springfield for eight years. We're on the corner of Sunshine in Kansas, mm -hmm. um, and uh, we provide service to a whole host of patients from very young to very old, we have our own in-house denture labs so that for people that need dentures, we uh, are able to do it quickly, efficiently, and with the highest quality. Okay, so you will service, you do all kinds of dental practices, but is this what you focus on is extractions? Um, not just extractions, but I mean, yeah, we do implants, root canals, crowns, mm -hmm. uh, obviously dentures. Obviously. Uh, too. And, um, you know, one of the things that kind of separates us from a lot of other people is we're a very service-oriented company. Right. So we are actually one of the largest privately owned dental companies in the state of Missouri that accepts Medicaid okay. for patients that, you know, need a little bit of help and right. we're there for them. Yeah, because it can be expensive, so that's great that you do that. And I know you have a couple other businesses in the area. Where are those? Uh, uh, our other practices are located in Mountain Grove, mm -hmm. in Rolla, and in the Lake of the Ozarks. Okay, so let's talk about, you have a really incredible event coming up and uh, where you're going to help out veterans. Jason, you want to talk about that a little bit? Uh, it all started, um, we have a few uh, employees who are veterans themselves, mm -hmm. and uh, a couple of years ago, it started with uh, just doing a very simple organic event. Um, just helping out some of the veterans, uh, some simple extractions and things like that that they need. Mm -hmm. uh, and from there, this year got a little bit more organized, but still was kind of done with not as much advance notice as we would like. Um, however, the slots that we had in our schedules for the veterans have filled up almost within about a week or so. Okay, so this is coming up on Monday Correct. that you're going to do this service for veterans. Um, and is it just in Springfield office that you're going to provide this service? No, it will be at our other locations as well. Uh, very simply, if they call the 877 dentist number, mm -hmm. uh, they will then be able to select which location is closest to them and call in... Um, are you just scheduled doing, for that. Okay, are you just doing extractions for them? What are you doing for them? Uh, they're going to be getting extractions done mm -hmm. uh, <clears throat> at this event. Hopefully, in the future, maybe we'll be able to broaden it out right. a little bit. But extractions are very as needed right. service that someone can just come in and we can do it fairly quickly. Right, and then they can schedule if they want you to come back and, and get some more dental work done. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, and people don't think about it. I mean, sometimes, you know, you can fix a tooth. Sometimes it just needs to be taken out. Right. Isn't that right? Mm -hmm. And yes. how that applies to the health of your whole body. It starts in your mouth, right? Oh, absolutely. I mean, you know, um, the American Heart Association, American Medical Association have really been touting over the last few years the importance and significance of oral health mm -hmm. to your to your body. In fact, people that have dental insurance might be noticing now that some of the dental procedures are actually now covered by their medical insurance. Oh, wow. So we are actually doing that now as we're speaking. So for certain procedures, whether it's implants or extractions, mm -hmm. uh, 
there may be a way that we can actually get it on your medical. So oh, that's cool. Yeah. Now, we want people to be able to come and take part in this on Monday. So what is the best way? Do you have a Facebook page? Or how can they contact you, Jason? We do have the Facebook page, uh, as well as, uh, again, 877-DENTIST. Easiest way to do it. 877-DENTIST. Correct. That is super easy. And thank you for what you do. You're very welcome. It's very nice to give back to the community, and I know these folks are very appreciative of it. So call as soon as you can because uh, you're filling up probably, right? Yes. Yes, uh, absolutely. And this is honestly, it's, it's the, the least that we can do to give back to say thank you to those who have given so much and, and served. All right, and the name of your company again? Access Dental and Dentures. Access Dental and Dentures. Thank you both. I appreciate it. All right, Ozarks Fox AM. We'll be right back after this. Welcome back to Ozark's Fox AM. Coming up in the next hour, one of my favorite restaurants on the square, Wine Dive. Yeah, Queen been City there. Wine Dive will be here. Oh, nice. I love that restaurant. Well, I actually love all the restaurants on the square. You really uh, frequent a lot of the downtown. I so do. much, and there's so many cool things there. Yes, and Crystal Fish will be here. Crystal Fish from Branson, and they are a unique uh, gift shop and. They are just spectacular. You've been in there, haven't you? Yes, I've been there once, and you've been there several times. Several times. I think you got a pair of socks or two. Yes. Didn't you? I think so. I, I get, I get clothes from so many places now. I forget. But well, if you ever need to buy a present for Jeremy, he likes socks. I All do. right, but first, let's check in with Joe for a look at today's news. Good morning, Joe. Good morning, Kelly and Jeremy. Hope you guys doing well. Jury selection begins today for the man charged with killing the mother of Christy Blanchard back in June of 2015. Yesterday, Nicholas Godejohn was in court for a hearing to determine what will and will not be presented during the trial on Tuesday. 
Go to John's defense will be that because of his autism, he had a diminished mental capacity at the time of the crime and was not able to deliberate before committing it. It's a defense he wants a mental health expert to testify to during the trial, but prosecutor Dan Patterson argues that is for the jury to decide. The attorneys will go through 80 jurors today and hope to have it narrowed down by 12 tomorrow. The trial starts Tuesday, and Go to John tells us he will not take the stand, but he might if there is a sentencing phase. Also this morning, voters, as you know, actually this past Tuesday, made the decision to legalize medical marijuana in Missouri by passing Amendment 2. So up next is implementation. Chip Shepard with New Approach Missouri says things now shift to the Department of Health. Patients will have to be certified with a qualifying condition, and they will then send those reports to the health department who will issue patient cards. Shepard also says there are deadlines the health department will aim to hit for patient access by late next year. It's going to be highly regulated by the Department of Health. Under our constitutional amendment, it's mandated deadlines for the Department of Health. So the Department of Health has to hit certain marks. Um, and if they hit all those marks, then we'll have medicine by next Christmas or next January. So we're 13, 14, 15 months away. A proposition to raise the hourly minimum wage in Missouri from $7.85 to $12 passed Tuesday night with more than 60% of the vote. The change isn't immediate. It'll be phased in over five years. According to the news leader, as we take a look here, in 2019, the hourly minimum wage will go to $8.60. Then in 2020, it will increase by $0.85 cents every year until it hits $12 an hour in 2023. There's been at least 59 reports of punctured flat tires in Monette since the first of the month. The Monette Police Department says reports started coming in the morning after Halloween. Over the weekend, a staggering 23 cars were reported to have damage to their tires on Saturday and another 30 on Sunday. The slashed tires are happening in several locations across town. But through surveillance cameras and tips, officers identified three adults and four juvenile suspects. No names have been released yet. But we know they drove in a white pickup truck with Texas license plates during the crime. Formal charges are still pending. Estimated damage for all three days is more than $10,000. If you're a victim of that crime spree, you're asked to report it to the Monette Police Department. Let's check in with Elisa Rafa for your weather on this Thursday. Good morning, Joe. We're starting out a little bit chilly in Branson. It's 39 degrees with dry roads and mostly cloudy skies. You can see we've got cloud cover here on the satellite. The radar is trying to show some returns for light rain or light snow, but the air mass is very dry in the lower levels, so we're likely not seeing that hit the ground at all this morning. It's 40 degrees in Springfield, 34 in Rowlett, and 40 in West Plains this morning. Things again starting out chilly. We'll stay chilly all day today, only getting to the middle 40s because of thick cloud cover. We'll have cloud I'll cover for the whole day. Uh, we'll have showers arrive to the west about 1 o'clock. Showers in Springfield by dismissal and the evening commute. So here's that hour by hour future cast. You can see we've got these showers pushing from west to east by dismissal. The green is the rain by this evening. Some of these purples and blues start to creep into parts of central Missouri where we could have some snow through the evening and overnight, or at least a mix. Springfield could see a flake or two, but it's looking like the healthiest chances will be uh, in central Missouri from Clinton to Lake of the Ozarks. Uh, snow accumulations will be very, very light, mostly on grassy surfaces because the ground temperatures are still warm and mostly up in uh, central Missouri. Temperatures drop to freezing overnight tonight. We clear out the skies. Saturday morning, we're looking at at record lows possible. A freeze watch is in effect for most of the Ozarks for temperatures in the upper teens and lower 20s. 17 by Saturday morning would tie a record from 1960. Another cold wave comes by early next week. If you're taking a veteran out on Sunday, it will be 44 with chilly cloud cover. Ozarks Fox AM will be right back after this short break.
Good morning, everyone. I'm Joe Morano. This past Tuesday, voters decided to legalize medical marijuana in Missouri. So up next comes implementation. Chip Shepard with New Approach Missouri says things now shift to the Department of Health. Patients will have to be certified with a qualifying condition and will then send those reports to the health department who will issue patient cards. There are deadlines the health department will aim to hit for patient access by late next year. There's been at least 59 reports of punctured flat tires in Monette since the first of the month. The police department there says these reports started coming the morning after Halloween. Over the weekend, 23 cars were reported to have damage done and another 30 the next day. These slashed tires are happening in several locations across town, but through tips and surveillance, officers identified three adults and four juvenile suspects. No names have been released, but they were driving a white pickup truck with Texas plates. Formal charges are pending. Let's check in with Elisa Rafa for your weather. Good morning, Joe. It's going to be chilly out there today. 44 degrees with thick cloud cover. Rain showers arrive late this afternoon. We could have it mixed with snow up to the north by this evening. Snow to the north, rain to the south overnight tonight. Any snow accumulations are going to be very light. Then by Friday night into Saturday morning, we've got a freeze watch for temperatures in the teens and 20s. 17 is the forecast for Saturday morning, and that would tie uh, the record. CBS this morning. We'll be right back. That is, yeah, you, when you flip, so when you store that. This is Ozark's Fox AM. Welcome back to Ozark's Fox AM Hour 2. I'm Kelly Smith. And I'm Jeremy Rabe. Thanks for tuning in this morning and staying with us. That's right. It has been a busy morning so yes. far, and we've got a lot more to come for sure. Oh, my gosh. Yes. Absolutely. There's so much going on with our show. Action packed today, Jer. I tell you what, we're doing giveaways. <laughs> we have lots of people in that produce. Did you see the produce oh, you from know Farm what? to Counter? I was running around. I, didn't, oh. I, I, I saw those tomatoes as I was going through. Wow. They're as bigger than my fist. I know. They're amazing. My tomatoes did well this year. Yes. I think, you know, I think part of the key is he was saying some of the problems this year with growing things, proper irrigation. You well. have to water. And I'm sure he has watering systems, but yes. I'm, I water 
every single day, especially during that dry spell we had in the summertime. But don't you have water. irrigation, some great irrigation going in, so you don't have to get out there with the hose? And no, everything is automatic. It goes off in the middle of the night, and it's all set to timers, and it's watered. Really, that's the only way to have a garden. My goodness, in the summertime, it just gets too hot. I can't even keep my flowers from dying in the summertime when it gets hot like that because you're gone all day. It takes a while to set up. I'm glad I did it. Some of, some of my flower beds are on drip lines. Right. And then huge sprinkler systems for the vegetable garden. Mm -hmm. And then I actually dug trenches across my yard to get irrigation to my gazebo. Yes. It's just easier when you don't have to think about watering it and you know it's going to look good. I think I just need to hire someone, Jared, to do all that. To, but here's the problem with my yard. It's all rock. You were so lucky to get that farmland. I'm a, yes. I, I cannot believe it. You can dig and dig and not find a rock. I, I can dig and dig and not find any dirt. Right. It's so true. Remember I mean, when I really? built the deck and I dug down two feet? Yes. And you did not see one rock in Do in you that. know how unheard of that is? It is unheard of. That would have been worth more money if you had even known that when you bought that property. I, know. I am not kidding you. Well, I knew it was good farmland because I had talked to some of the people around there, and all of the houses around me initially had two acres. Like, uh -huh. they initially all came with, with that, sold it off, you know, throughout the years. And luckily, the nice lady I bought it from kept all two acres, so it's yes. just crazy. He had 15 acres. Oh, he did. Farmer Bigby mm -hmm. in the middle of town. I felt lucky with two acres. He has like 15 in the middle of Springfield. Well, it looks like more than two acres, and that's where you're going to have all your animals in your farm, right? Yes. Yeah. I, that's what I love, except for goats. Now I can't have goats because they will eat. They will eat anything. Everything. Or you can you can get some goats and uh, hire them out to me, and they can eat all the poison ivy because we live. Wait, in do goats eat poison ivy? Yes, they eat it. And they don't get like internal poison ivy. No, they eat everything. But I get poison ivy from the dogs running through it, even I, in the winter time. I walk past it and I get it. I mean, so I don't I have to breathe. touch it. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. All right. All right. You know, it's time to check in with Kaylee Custer. She has an amazing story about a young entrepreneur. Kaylee. That's right, guys. They say you're never too young to start a business, which is true for one local hair salon and spa owner. This teenager is taking on high school and hair biz all at once. I I wake up at like five. Do, you know, just morning stuff, take a shower, all that. I go to school at 8, get off at 11, come back here and run the salon until we close at 6, and then go home and, you know, either do more book work or more school work. A busy schedule for a teenager. Uh, I'm 16 years old. And this 16 year old has been running the Blades and Shades Salon and Spa for over a year. You know, my mom was trying to get out from under the business that she was previously in. Um, and I had a little money saved up, so I bought everything from her and, you know, went to some of her friends and that, you know, knew what they were doing whenever it came to business and her and um, got some help with how to hire people, you know, all the forms I needed, everything like that. And, um, you know, renovated the building. Haircuts, hair colors, facials, waxing, lash extensions, massages, manicures, and pedicures are just a few of the services offered. I actually have three hairstylists, two nail techs, and an esthetician. But how do you buy a salon at the age of 15? From the time I was born, my mom started investing for me. Um, and, you know, she would put X amount into a mutual fund every month for me until I was about four. And at four, you know, I started to get an allowance and make a little money on my own. And she taught me how to budget that money. And I put, you know, X amount of money into investments every month from what I had made starting at four. And then, you know, as I got older, she started explaining it more in depth. And as I would make money, I would just contribute more of that to investments. As an owner, Gabe says the majority of his work is behind the scenes, folding laundry, cleaning sinks. Everything I do. I try and take care of the stylist so that the stylist can take care of the clients. But even if his work isn't as glamorous as it may seem, his friends at school are amazed that he owns a brick and mortar business. They don't believe it. I mean, honestly. What's certain, though, is that this won't be his last business. I've been doing something to make money on my own for as long as I can remember. What motivates me every day is just the thought of growth and, you know, progressing every day. I had to throw that hair flip in there. That was too iconic. 
Now, he's come a long way from making homemade laundry detergent and fixing bikes at six years old. His next venture, though, is getting a dealer's license to sell used cars. He's also set to graduate high school early and sign on his mom as an employee in the coming months. Jeremy Kelly, back to you. That blows I love me it. away. What were, what were you doing at 16? I couldn't wait to get my license, and I was so wrapped up in the things going on at school, I never even considered owning a business. No, not at all. I was, you know, taking driver's ed, getting my license, and then worried about what school play I was going to audition for next. Yeah, I think I was into the pom-pom thing at the time, you know, or, or playing music on my piano. I don't know, but I was not thinking like this guy. At six years old, he had a soap company. I know. I'm still thinking about his hair flip. Like, when he... He has a lot of hair. I dread <laughs> my whole life of having hair like that. And there he is at 16, just like, Jeremy, look at these locks. Have you ever had hair like that? No, not really? like that. No. He has great hair. No wonder he started a salon, too. Well, he has great a, hair. He really does. And he's got a lot of people that can take care of him. And you do cut hair. You can maybe go get a job part time with him. Like I have time. <laughs> I'm just saying, if you wanted to, you could I, say, I, I cut hair. I totally can cut hair, and I still do that once in a while. In fact, next time you need a haircut, maybe I should do yours. I'm not letting you near my head. Are you kidding me? You're just like my dad. <laughs> He's like, a, I'm like, Dad, seriously, I, you don't have that much hair. <laughs> you not, can't mess it up. <laughs> you can't mess it up. And, oh, oh anyway. <laughs> all right. Before we get to the rest of Hour 2 and all the fun, let's get one last look at today's weather with Elisa Rafa. Good morning, guys. We are starting out a little bit chilly out there this morning. It's 39 degrees in Branson. We have dry roads and mostly cloudy skies. You can see the clouds here on the satellite. Uh, they're popping, but we do have some returns for some light rain or light snow. Uh, we have dry air at the lower levels of the atmosphere, so that rain is falling up top and then evaporating once it gets to the dry air, so we're not seeing that hit the ground this morning. It's 40 degrees in Springfield, 35 at Lake of the Ozarks, and 35 in Fort Leonard Wood. We're looking at chilly temperatures as you head out the door in the upper 30s and lower 40s. And then we'll have these temperatures in the middle 40s as we head through the day with rain arriving and then possibly even changing to snow by this evening. So here's that hour by hour future cast. You can see by 2 o'clock, we've got these showers pushing in from west to east. It's green, so that's all rain. And then by this evening, some of these blues and purples come down. We can see that changeover uh, to snow, mainly up in central Missouri, Clinton, Lake of the Ozarks, Stockton. Could have some of that snow mix in, maybe a few flakes in Springfield, areas to the south. We're looking at all rain. Any of these snow accumulations are going to be little to none. We're not looking at much in the way of snow accumulation, mainly on grassy surfaces uh, from Clinton to Lake of the Ozarks. Uh, we'll drop to freezing overnight tonight. We clear out the skies on Friday and then nosedive those temperatures by Saturday morning. A freeze watch is in effect for Friday night into Saturday morning for areas that have not hit that freeze yet, and it does include most of the Ozarks. I'm forecasting a low by Saturday morning of 17. That would tie the record from 1960. We come back up to temperatures around freezing by Sunday and Monday, but then another cold wave is likely by next week. Veterans Day is on Sunday, so if you're taking out someone who's served, it will be chilly with a temperature of 44. Jeremy Kelly, back to you. Thanks, Elisa. All right, we have a lot more fun coming up, coming up a bit of crafting gear, mm -hmm. some homemade stationery, all kinds of stuff. Don't go anywhere. We're going to be right back. Yeah, so much to do. Awesome. Looks awesome. You did great. Where do we want this? Over back here? Is this where you I think it was back on the back. I, do you think we'll oh, knock I, it I off? Let's set it over here. Okay. All right. Oh my gosh, this jewelry is so gorgeous. So.
Welcome back. We are so excited to be talking to Linda Cherry from the Crystal Fish, an incredibly eclectic and awesome boutique in Branson. Welcome, Linda. Hi, guys. Thanks for having me on the show. This is awesome. So we good to see store. you. We love your store. Okay, so we've got a lot to get to. Where do you want to start with what kinds of things you have in your store? Well, I think the premise is just to let everybody know we've got a lot of local and handmade yes. and all kinds of cool stuff. Um, we have a very local um, aspect to the store, like we were talking about Jeremy with the Table Rock Lake and things like oh, that. Oh, yes. Look at and this. I'm going to hold that this up. Yeah. One of those so signs. gorgeous. So all custom. So we can do a lot of custom things in the store that are very indigenous to the area. So you aim to please, that. don't you? We do. You know, customer service is on the top of our list. If it weren't for our customers, we wouldn't be where we are today and doing what we're doing. Yes, you so, definitely helped us shop the other day, and yeah. I bought a lot of great goodies. <laughs> Talk about this. I love this piece so right here. So these are made locally. They're oil lamps. Um, hard to show here, but once you get home, you take the marble off, you put a wick in there, a fiberglass wick, and it burns like a candle. So it's a beautiful ambient light. That is beautiful. Can you change out the things inside? So there are about 15 different items Styles. that are inside of them that you, you purchase them like that, Jeremy. So they I come blueberries it. and beautiful and butterflies. butterflies and and this and is my new collection, if anybody wants to know. They come in all shapes and sizes, and they're gorgeous. Uh, yes, what else do you have, yeah. Ms. Linda? Well, let's see. Uh, when we go across, we've got some beautiful, these are like repurposed, reclaimed, remade, all wow. right, um, Refelted, so cute little mittens that are made locally, and then also pottery that's made. We're featuring for the holidays handmade and local made ornaments. So our blown glass, our uh, wood carved piece, some of our those are beautiful, nice yeah. gifts, wouldn't you say? Great yeah, gifts. yes, and, and really good price points. You know, under the twenty dollar mark always is a good thing to pick up something unique and different. And right. I almost spend more than twenty on Kelly, just so you know. <laughs> He's very, we he's won't very go over the frugal top. when it comes to me, yes. <laughs> now, we want to talk about, you have a Christmas open house coming up. We do. On, the, uh, on this Saturday, we've got our big, it's our 30th year probably for our Christmas open house. And so we're excited. We give away thousands of dollars worth of prizes. We'll have a lot of gifts with purchase like this cute little clutch. I love it. And this beautiful Swarovski ornament will be also gifts. We'll give away about $1,000, $2,000 worth of door prizes. Every hour we're giving away things. We'll have this gourmet hot chocolate. Chocolate bar and all kinds of fun things in the store. What time do you open? We open at 10. We close at 6 every day, 10 to 6. Uh -huh. And we've got things like that going on. We do um, a lot with. Uh, just, just a lot of things. Well, oh, we're debuting this Saturday yes. our jewelry line. So my husband and I, Tim Cherry, he's a wildlife sculptor, and myself, we've designed a jewelry line, yeah. and so that'll be debuting, yeah, this Saturday. So we're excited to put that in front of everybody and, and show and, up. Oh, yes. The jewelry is is it, is it local? Who makes the jewelry? Do you make the jewelry? The jewelry is made right in Arkansas. We're wow. not going out of the country to make it at all. So it's all locally made. It's her wow. design, hers and her husband's design, based off of his sculptures, which are amazing. Yeah, we'll have those in the store, so you can oh, come nice. and see them as well. So just a lot of fun things. Very uh, uh, definitely your gift shop. What I love too is you think boutique, you think women, but you have right. things for men. For example, what I'm drawn to on this counter are these socks, the watch, and my bow tie that you brought to me. Oh, look at this bow tie! Isn't I, this beautiful? I do want to show. Look at this bow tie because it is a map of, of Table, Table Rock, Rock Lake. Lake. Yeah. Can you get a tight shot? Look at that. That is cool. And I actually just realized I put it on upside down. <laughs> I'm Did so, you? so well, you, I Lake is upside down. It looks just as good upside it down. It does. And those, <laughs> those come in long ties as well. They do. They come in a long tie. We have them in blankets. So, again, just that whole that tie into our area and fun stuff, fun and signs. Are these vintage. for guys or girls? The, the, either the, or. Okay. okay. Those bracelets in the front. Just, yep. Well, look at these can socks. Wear? Let me hold these up. You call yeah. these coconutty? Those are coconutty. <laughs> those are for you, Jeremy. That's for me. I'm That's totally for you. nutty. Those are for you. Those but are the coconutty. Look at coconutty. this local aspect, Route 66, right yeah. there. Yeah. Exactly. So and all that kinds is so of fun great. stuff. And Miss Linda, you've got some other jewelry lines here. So we also carry Pandora, mm -hmm. um, big uh, amount of Pandora. There's a beautiful ring here, too. Um, we, I noticed it was tucked in for you to hold it and put on. Yes. Please. And we That's have so Ronaldo beautiful. handmade bracelets. So, yeah. Isn't that cool? That is beautiful. Now, which line is this one? This is Pandora. This is Pandora. So, all the new um, the holiday line is in. So, we've got, we've got Pandora, Vera Bradley, Swarovski, um, just all kinds of brands that you're going to know. Spartina is this beautiful handbag line, um, Belgium linen and leather. And then just 
like you said, Jeremy, a lot for other, uh, just all ages, guys and all girls. guys and girls, and all price points, without yes. a doubt. And December 1st, real quick, you've got something coming up. We do. We have Meet the Makers, where you'll see a lot of the makers in the store that are making these handmade items. So we have a really nice big event there where they'll bring extra things in than we normally carry. And so that'll be a full day also. But this Saturday, awesome. This Saturday, 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 this Saturday is the big open house. We changed the whole store from Halloween, autumn to Christmas in 24 hours. <laughs> Fantastic. You know Branson. Yes. And the so, times, one more yes. time, 10 to 6? 10 to 6. And we're on the north end of Branson Landing, so they can find us right across from that great big balloon. We're right there. Yeah. Or call us. At You're going to want to come in. Oh, call. Yeah. Yeah. No, 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 no. Absolutely. What's your phone number? 335. Uh, 30, or I'm sorry, 335-8236. I don't want them calling my home. No, 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 no. <laughs> don't give them your home number. Okay. No, well, thanks so much, Linda. Thank you, so Linda. good to see you. We love yes. your stuff, and thank you for this gorgeous tie. It is here. I love it. Here. Don't go anywhere. We're yes. talking with the Discovery Center coming up next, and be sure to follow our social media platforms because we're giving away the Nest Interiors gift card at the end of today's show. So don't go, yes. anywhere. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Don't lose this. That is gorgeous. That's gorgeous. That second there. Yeah, that is fine. so pretty. Okay. <laughs> Hi guys. Hi. Hello. Hello. Welcome back to Ozarks Fox AM. Joining us now is Rob Blevins of the Discovery Center and artist Andrea Earhart. Yep. I want to say Andrea. I have a friend named Andrea, but Andrea Earhart, who is a, an artist, and we're so excited about what's going on at the Discovery Center. Always. You've got lots of stuff going on. Tell us about it. So uh, the, this specifically is more Andrea's project that she's been wanting to do for a while, but we're putting on the greetings from Springfield Mural on the side of our building um, to be really, you know, the community museum that we are uh, and welcome people to our community. So what are you changing about it? 
Is that you, Andrea? That's, that's Where do you change it? Because it says "Welcome to Springfield." Uh, yes. Yeah, so we're gonna fill all the, all the Springfield letters um, with uh, things from around the community. So like. Probably Bass Pro, um, the Springfield Cardinals, kind of what everybody's going to vote for. A picture um, of me and Kelly? <laughs> Are people voting for that? Yeah, 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 your base? Yeah, we did too. <laughs> Get on the campaign trail. Yes, yes, yes we should. <laughs> we'll have until wonderful. the end of day tomorrow, so it's going to be a quick campaign trail. But yeah. <laughs> Can we just send a picture? <laughs> why not? Why not? Let's, let's, okay. Let's do it. That sounds really awesome. Who gets to decide? Are you deciding what goes in the, all the letters? Uh, yeah. I mean, well, we're, it's kind of a collective community thing, so mm -hmm. whatever everybody votes for, we're going to put in. Yeah. Yeah, so 417 Magazine, they're celebrating their 20th anniversary, and so they're sponsoring the wall through, through that. Um, and it's our 20th anniversary mm -hmm. at the Discovery mm -hmm. Center. Um, and so as part of that, we're doing this competition where readers, anybody online gets to go and vote at 417mag.com slash mural. And you can enter in whatever you want, what you think should be on the wall, Kelly and oh, Jeremy. Okay. Uh, so we can vote, Kelly. So you can vote, oh, we and can. you should And vote. we can submit our photo. Give us, give us a voice there. That's, that's great. So do you have any submissions yet so far that you're like, are in the lead? Have you seen some of them? Like, what are the, some of the submissions that people from around here have suggested? Well, um, to, to, keep it, to keep yeah. it you know, fair, I haven't actually seen any oh, of the haven't. data. I have no oh. idea how things are going, because if I had it my way, we'd put giant cashew on it. Oh, right. <laughs> Big fan of cashew chips. <laughs> and used to run cashew craze for years, so cashew chicken is very important to me and important yes. to Springfield. I'd like to see that on. How I would paint that, I'm not sure. <laughs> yeah, exactly. so, so she does not. Want to see she cashew. Does not. Don't we'll vote for cashew out. chicken. <laughs> is it a committee? Did you say that's going to decide, or is it just how many times a certain? So I think they're going to try to see if there are trends. So some things might not. Um, end up the exact same way that it ends up on the mural. Like mm -hmm. if you're very specific and somebody else is more broad, maybe they go with the more broad one yeah. of downtown Springfield. And so they'll kind of uh, collect those votes and figure out what sense it makes. Mm -hmm. yeah. Andrea, yes. you're the artist. How did you get selected yeah. for this? Um, well, <laughs> so I saw that it was, uh, or a lot of the major cities around the United States have a greetings from mural. So Chicago, Cleveland, LA, I mean, even Branson has one. It's down by the landing. Yes. <laughs> so I was like, I want to bring this to Springfield. Oh, that's oh, awesome. Yeah. yeah. So well, it was your idea then. Oh, yeah. yeah so, idea. She, and then, she approached me and said, hey, and you, you've got a big, beautiful <laughs> wall here, and I have a big, beautiful mural yeah. idea. Yeah. That's <laughs> great. And Rob was all for it. So, <laughs> so together we put this together and made it happen. What are some other things you've done art-wise? Art um, I've done the, uh, uh, the Monarch Butterfly mm -hmm. um, on the corner of South and Walnut. Oh, people love oh, that. Yeah. They take yes. pictures with that all the time. Yeah, that's very... great. That should be in the, one of the Springfield letters. <laughs> yes. Yeah. <laughs> that's you know, somebody vote for that, right? <laughs> that. Yeah. Why the butterfly? I love the symbol of the butterfly. Um, so I saw uh, some of Kelsey Montag's um, mm -hmm. wings down in Nashville, and so I wanted to bring something similar to Springfield, and I decided to do a butterfly with. Fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> okay. If somebody wants to vote. One last time to vote for your favorite Springfield iconic, and it has to be in Springfield. It can't be from yeah. Branson in Springfield. <laughs> yeah. No Branson no voters Branson allowed. Voter. No. <laughs> Where do they go? One more time. 417mag.com slash mural. Or they can find it on the Discovery Center's Facebook or 417's Facebook or uh, Paint It Red's Facebook. Yeah. And they only yeah. have till tomorrow to vote, right? Tomorrow yeah. at midnight it stops. So If you want to submit right. me and Kelly, go vote right now. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. Maybe submit a photo. Thank you guys so much. All right, we'll be right back after this. <laughs>
Welcome back to Ozark's Fox AM. You know, we love to support local restaurants on the show, and there are so many great local places to eat, especially downtown, like Queen City Wine Dive on the square. I love this place. I've gone to it several times, not just for dinner, but for brunch as well. This is Micah Pope, owner of Wine Dive. Micah, thank you for coming in early morning. Thanks for having me. Appreciate it. I love your restaurant. If somebody's not familiar with Wine Dive, just tell us about it. Um, so, Wine Dive um, kind of started. Oh man, back I guess when I first got my original serving job at Riverside Inn, mm -hmm. um, I just kind of fell in love with restaurants through that, and then just through um, just working in restaurants and being in restaurants for a long time, it was just kind of my passion, and that's where I. So you decided I came to open from. one because you were in the restaurant business, waiting tables. I've waited tables for a long time. Yeah. yeah. So it came to a point where I, you know, I thought I had the ideas and and the the will to to go ahead and kind of move into what I wanted to do. And what was your inspiration for Wine Dive? Um, just uh, kind of filling a need for what I thought downtown and, and Springfield was looking for, or potentially, you know, maybe they didn't know they wanted, but um, just kind of. What, what I thought would be good for the, our downtown um, and, and Springfield in general. Well, it, it's called Wine Dive, but there's so much more than just wine because you have an extensive menu, Certainly. which I love. Talk about some of your favorite food items, especially some you brought here today. So, yeah, a few of the things I brought here. Um, we have our duck confit mac and cheese, um, which, you know, obviously has duck in it. Um, we make our own, you know, sauce and... Uh, it gets topped off with panko, so it's got a nice little crunch to it. I'll be honest, I don't think I've had duck before. What is the okay. taste difference? This, you know how they say so everything tastes like chicken. Yeah, so <laughs> compared to chicken, I feel like it has a bit more of... There's just a, a, a little bit more going on with it. Okay. Um, so now the duck confit gets cooked in herbs, so it, it has more of that herb um, flavor to it. Nice. Um, also, we brought our cauliflower steak here. That looks amazing. Um, I've so had cauliflower steak, and it is okay. delicious. Good, I good, love good. this so, so much. So a vegetarian option um, that still, you know, is a full meal. Sometimes I feel like yes. you get left wanting a little bit with, with some vegetarian options. And I love the, the vegetables um, underneath that's what carrots and Yeah, grilled vegetables. So we have there's carrots there, asparagus and yellow squash are what um, I'm getting that that I feel like are good to, to grill up right now. Um, we also have our fried chicken here. Um, uh, their fried chicken is great. I've had the fried chicken too. Yeah, <laughs> very popular item for us. Uh, we, we use the Riverside Inn Fried Chicken. That's a place where I started out working. Mm -hmm. um, I'm still good friends with the owners, and I, you know, I thought it, it would be a really good um, continuation of the Riverside Inn Fried Chicken. And I love, chicken. to me, I'm from, you know, that's a comfort food. Yeah. I mean, fried chicken and taters, that's comfort food, right, and exactly, I love that. Exactly. And then I also love your charcuterie platters. So, yeah, meat and cheese here. Um, you can kind of build your own, or you can leave it up to us, and we'll build you, uh, you know, a... a a board for I love that option, for, Micah, because when I was there, the first time I let you guys do it, and then the second time I built it myself. You your, yeah, because I love own, that. So. Now I don't. Before we run out of time, you are wine dive, and I know you brought some wine for me to try because I, I did. do love me some wine. So yeah, so I brought um, one of our more popular whites. Um, this is a uh, Sauvignon Blanc from New Zealand called Matua, um, and is a great food wine uh, due to its high acidity. Mm -hmm. um, has a nice. I'm just imitating you. Grassy, grassy notes to it, very mm -hmm. herbaceous. Um, but but also uh, it's very cleansing on your palate, which helps out with um, like things like the duck mac and cheese or fried chicken. It's very you know with some, something that has a little, little bit of oil to it. It's right. very cleansing. So is this wine good with most meals at wine? I dive? think so. Yeah. In, in my own personal opinion. Oh, that's nice. Kind of get a nice lemony zip to it. Mm -hmm. Kind of very acidic and, and cleansing on your palate. I like that. And speaking of wine, I like it. You have I call it wine on tap. Yeah, draft tell us about wine. the draft wine. So the tell draft wine. So it's a caked wine system. Um, so as opposed to just opening a bottle of wine and then saying, uh, you know, I hope that this bottle gets sold within a specific amount of time. Right. Um, you know, there's gas systems and, stuff and things like that. But this, the keg system, uh, specifically, uh, doesn't allow any air uh, into into the wine. So it's good from the very first glass to the, to the very last. Uh, so you don't see any of that um, oxygenation. Um, or you know spillage or anything like that. So it's just it's just more of a consistent way to be able to sell um, a quality glass. And you're not wasting. Wine. Exactly. You're not, yeah. You know you don't need to waste the wine. Although wine is never wasted at my house. Just Certainly so you not. know. Certainly not. Wine yeah. Dive has so much more to offer than just wine. It has a great menu. If somebody wants to come and make reservations or get in touch with you, what's the easiest way to reach you? Um, you can call us uh, on our cell phone number four one seven four two nine nine zero two zero. Um, or you can get a hold of us through our Facebook page. And if you well. go down to the square, if you go right to the square, they're right there on the square, right across from Civil. Yeah. And you'll, it's, I'm telling you, it's an amazing place. Great atmosphere, great decor. 
Micah, thank you so much for thank coming you. in. Go to Wine Dive. You will not regret it. All right, before we go, we got to check in with Kelly at the couch. Kelly? Hey, thanks guys so much. All right, I'm excited to be with Heather Plumley. She owns Sugar Plum Prints, and I'm excited to hear about your business and yeah. why you started it. Tell me, first of all, what all you do at Sugar Plum Prints. Well, for about 15, 16 years, we've been photographers and uh, graphic artists, which um, led us into handmade stationery. Of so, course, it yeah. leads you right into handmade right. stationery. Straight into it, yep. Well, you're artsy. Yes, and so we do all kinds of art, you know, watercolor, photography, um, drawing. Everything just kind of brings itself together with the stationery, photography. Mm -hmm. So we do commercial and uh, real estate, events, parties. Portraits and weddings, of course, which uh, leads into wedding invitations. It and does. Christmas cards, yeah. It really does. So let's. You love the photography. That's where I you do. started. Yes. But this yeah. is so fun. Yeah. Uh, you do so much. Let's start with. I don't know. This just <laughs> is amazing. I saw you doing some of this on social yes. media. Yeah. What is this called? Well, these are dear Santa letter papers. They came from the North Pole. I just helped. Okay. But they're laced with cinnamon oil and um, yeah, so they're, they're made for um, the children to write Santa a letter to go straight to the North Pole from us. And, and they yeah, smell good. They smell and, great. And you take a lot of time with each one of these. How do you use it? Tea stained? What is yes, it? Yes. Yeah, we do tea stain, and then we ed we age the paper with the edging. So it's about a three day process to My get them all goodness. done. Yeah. Lots, labor lots of, of time. Love. Yes, yeah. it is a labor of love. Lots goes into yeah. these things. N now, as far as your cards, let's yes. talk about whatever you want to start with here. Oh, okay. Well, great. I have a, a line here. We did. We basically start with um, watercolor that I've created. Okay, let's turn these around and show these to the folks. Yeah, so these are um, all done by myself with mm -hmm. photography or watercolor. And they're, um, they're kind of, we're going to be going into some different realty stores. Right. Or, Real ta retail stores, and um, so we're always looking for new places to to house these. Now, these can be ordered online, wholesale or retail by us. All right. So this is your this is your design. This is I, I hand painted and um, took the pictures, and then I take that digitally because of the graphic artist. Right. Take that digitally, and um, then. Mass produce on those. Mass produce, absolutely. Yes, and yes. you've got birthday cards. You've yeah. got um, this one says, "Even the stars adore you." It's yes. You just make all kinds all of cards. Realms. Yep. <laughs> just be just being thankful. All yeah. kinds of things. Maybe baby uh, gift cards. Yeah, and that sort of absolutely. Thing. And thank you cards. Um, and then of course we have the die cut and the handmade. Um, wedding invitations. These are going to be done uh, custom. They can all be custom. Um, these are a little bit of a smaller batch. We, I do these by hand. These are time intensive. Yeah. These are adorable. Now, this, this, this is a wedding invitation. This is a wedding invitation. Yep. That is yep. gorgeous. We do thank yous, party invitations. Um, I even look make the envelopes. Um, oh, look that at the match. envelope. That's so gorgeous. Hand painted. Um, that's a, an invitation. That's actually. an invitation. So, yeah. Oh, you know what? These are special things. This is a great thing to spend money on at your wedding because this is something you can always remember. Yes. That's that's kind of how I felt. I'm a scrapbooker. I'm definitely right. like a little bit of a throwback. I like snail mail. I yes. like to have something. I'm that with I can you hold. on that. I have a hard time with all this I'm, technology yeah, stuff. Yeah. I'm not necessarily a millennial. These are. This is some photography that we took of a family, uh -huh. and um, then we can make. Customized Christmas cards, and that's a good thing to be doing right now. Yeah. Now, how if, if people want to uh, contact you for photography for for like Christmas cards or that sort of thing, yeah. um, how do they do that? I know you're all over social media. I am. We've got Instagram, Facebook. You can write us anywhere, but we have a website, um, sugarplumprints.com, and you can do wholesale or retail through there. And you can also just contact me for photography. Wholesale or retail? Yeah, so um, we we sell retail from our website. Okay. But um, and then we also, if you're a a business that would like to carry our line of um, greeting cards. Oh, I see what you're saying. You okay. Can do wholesale there too. Now you are working on getting these in some places, yes. so you may yeah. see her cards in different yeah. places coming up, and that would be a great way for you to go. Yeah. Um, these come Exciting. in bulk, or uh, obviously you can custom order these. And again, how can they get in touch with you? They can get. They can actually go through social media or our website is sugarplumprints.com and you'll be talking directly to me. That's right. And you do custom orders as well. We do custom orders on everything also. So if you've yep. got a great idea and you want it a specific way, yes. give Heather a call. Heather yes. Plumley, thank you so much for coming thank in today. Good so luck with your business. I really you. love it. All right, we'll be back right after this. Don't go anywhere.
Welcome back, everybody. My friend Jen Lilly is here today from Lash Co. Studios and Cactus Lily Boutique. And if you want to look beautiful, you got to go see her. Jen, thanks for coming in. Thanks for having me. Awesome. Okay, so thanks for my spray tan. I don't know if you all thought that I went to the Caribbean or something, but I didn't. I just went to Lash Co. Studios, and she fixed me up last night. And this top is a featured item that she has. Is this brand new? It is. Yeah, you just got this in. Mm -hmm, we did. Now, you have a love of fashion, and you're so good at it. You've been in retail a long time. And then you decided to start your own business. Now, I do know that the boutique was kind of an afterthought because you were doing the lashes and that sort of thing. But talk about the boutique. Well, um, we've talked about it a little bit before, but I started doing lashes. And then I had all these ladies coming in, and they would be sitting there waiting for their appointment. And I, I thought I needed to give them something to do. How smart was yeah. that? So I just brought some clothes, some shoes, some accessories, a few little fun things. And now they're not bored when they're waiting for their appointment. <laughs> that was a Great business decision. I love what you're wearing. That's Thank you. that's from your uh, little boutique as well. Yes. And you carry shoes. And your mama make, makes these gorgeous uh, yes. earrings. Look at those. Yeah. Those are leather, and mm -hmm. they are very lightweight, so they're easy to wear. They are. And what else does she make? She does bracelets. I brought a few of them. She does different sizes. Mm -hmm. We have a lot of ladies that'll come in and they'll want something special. They'll want a certain little charm or a certain size. And so she custom makes them. But not only my mom, my dad does it too. Oh, your dad does it yeah, too. Yeah, so my dad's retired. So this is keeping them really busy. So all handmade, all leather. And they love that. Oh my goodness. So the, the artwork runs in your family, the artistic yeah. ability. I have, Some of these items I have not seen, Jen. Yeah. And they put a little bit of stud on there, a little rhinestone on mm -hmm. there. That is so gorgeous. Uh, I have to tell you, uh, the boutique idea, uh, women love boutiques because they can find things there that they don't find in, you know, the big stores. Right. And that sort of thing. And right. you always help them dress if mm -hmm. they need some help. Yeah. Yeah, unless I'm doing lashes, but then I still encourage. That, so kind of give them some advice for my chair. From so, your chair, yeah. you can do that. And then, of course, you've got some other gift ideas here as well. Uh, what is some of this stuff? This is a faux tan. We do airbrush spray tans. Right. And so this is a faux tan that you can take home. It's my personal favorite, so I carry it in the studio. We have a couple of serum, lash serums that just help keep your lashes healthy. Mm -hmm. And then I've just picked up and started carrying a few other products that I love to um, use for stocking stuffers and just for Christmas. So. Now, these candles, didn't we see these before? Before or no? No, these are new. This is something I found and it smelled. Did you see what the name of it was? I, I did, and, and so I set it back down. <laughs> it's unicorn puke, <laughs> but it actually smells like cotton candy. Oh, it does? Yes. Okay, well, then I'll try this. I, I, I read it and I thought, I don't want to smell that. So, yeah, no. no, they're fun. They're a lot oh, of fun. Oh, gosh, that is great. I love that so much. All right, well, we, we love what you've brought into the boutique, but let's talk about. The lashes and the other things you do there for the folks. Okay. We do eyelash extensions. That's mm -hmm. our specialty. Um, we are a lash studio, so that's what we, we focus in. Um, we have some exciting new services that we're actually going to post on Facebook tomorrow and let everybody know about those. But we do facials, airbrush spray tans, uh, sugaring. That is um, something that's fairly new to the area. Not a lot of places do it. What is it? It's hair removal, so it's waxing but sweeter. So it's a sugar paste. So okay. it's still removing hair. But it's better, it's organic, it's sugar, water, lemon juice. It's oh, not wow. as harsh on your skin. So probably it doesn't uh, make you, uh, it, you know, sometimes you'll get broken out if you, yeah. if you do the other kind of waxing. It's much better for you. It works a lot better, a lot easier on your skin. It doesn't hurt as much. No. 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 Fantastic. And your lashes are absolutely beautiful. Thank you. You know, how nice is that that you don't have to worry about, you know, the mascara and that sort of thing every mm -hmm. day? Now, talk about how you would take care of those. Um, brush them and clean them every day. No mascara, no curling. You just wake up. I wash them when I wash my face and brush them and we're good to go. Wow, and you just wake up looking beautiful like they do on the soap operas That's every right. day? I, I wake up like this. <laughs> <laughs> you do. You really do. All right, so talk about how people can get in touch with you because I know you're on social media. The Boutique also has a Facebook page. Yes, the Boutique is inside Lash Co. Um, you can get us on Facebook. That's where we keep up with most of our stuff. We do have a website. Uh -huh. And um, our phone number is 417-241-9913. Um, you can call and ask any questions. That's right. And your mom is at the front desk yes. to welcome people. And yes. uh, she'll take special orders on some of these things yes, that she absolutely. makes as well. Yeah. All right. If you want to look beautiful like Jen, oh, you'll want to you. go to Lash Coast Studios. Thank, thank you so you. much. All right. Now we're going to head over to talk to Creative Escape Glass. Jeremy, take it away. Creative Escapes Glass. I'm here with Rebecca Santiago. It's so good to have you on the show. Well, thank you for having me. And we love your stuff. Tell us about Great Escapes Glass. 
Well, we are a glass fusion studio where people can come in and make their own pieces. They don't need to know how to do it. We'll teach them what they need to do, do what they need to know in order to make something very cool. Because it sounds difficult, like to make a glass something or other. How how is it even possible? Well, it really depends on the project that you choose. We have very simple things that require no glass cutting, or we have very advanced projects as people learn different skills. There are so many different te techniques in glass fusion that it works with all different skill levels. Wow. Oh, my goodness. And it's so beautiful. I love everything that you've even brought in. We're seeing video right now of your place, which is awesome. Can you just walk in off the street and say, I want to make something? Yes, you can if we have space available. So if we have, you know, sometimes we have large groups or reservations, and depending on staffing, we may not be able to accommodate walk-ins. But most of the time, especially during the week, if you've got some free time, you can wander in. And we're open Wednesday through Friday, 11 to 5, or Saturday, 10 to 6. Those t Saturdays tend to be a little bit busier, so we do kind of stick with the 10 a.m. or 1 p.m. reservation. But we still have time for walk-ins once in a while. I just love how artistic people are here in the Ozarks and all the crafts that we do. This this is so beautiful. Now, Rebecca, this is a little bit more intense project, but I love mosaics. Do you ever do those? I love mosaics. Yes. That's actually one of my favorite techniques is just taking random pieces of glass and making them fit. So I've done quite a few mosaic projects. I'm drawn yes. like, uh, you know, a, what is it? Uh, to, to, to a light? A, a moth to a light or a moth to a flame. To a flame. Yeah. There we go. By a mosaic. I mean, it's just gorgeous. All and you brought colors. beautiful things right here. Let's take a look at some of these right. items. Yeah, I didn't actually bring any mosaics, which now that you That's mention okay. it is strange because <laughs> have that to come is to what see my favorites. Um, but we have a wide variety. We've got some seasonal pieces with the holidays coming up. Here's a really cool scene that my husband made. And so you can put a candle behind it. This is a great shape for just sitting on a bookshelf. It's actually mm -hmm. the shape for a wall sconce, uh -huh. but most of the time people just make it for something to put out. We've got a smaller one that you could, you know, well, you can put any design you want. We have uh, the classic tray which works great on a vanity or in the kitchen, and just some other designs, just techniques. All of the color that you see here is actually glass. It's not paint. Uh -huh. It's glass that's been cut. The only exception is this particular one, where you have some kiln paper, which gives the design, and we use paper punches, and it's trapped behind that's the glass, right. which is kind of a cool technique. When people come in to do a project, do you give them already a piece of glass that's shaped and then they just decorate, or how does it work? Everything starts flat. Okay. So, because you're building everything flat, you're starting with just a flat piece and you're layering and decorating the pieces. So, this is one piece that was made that was oh. left flat, and so this is just crushed glass. I love these bouquets. These are so fun. That beautiful. is beautiful. Yeah. And so it's just crushed glass. And this is what's called full fused or cooked all the way in, is what we like to say, where it's a smooth texture. Now, if we wanted to, we could put this on a ceramic mold and have it take a shape of a plate or a bowl. Well, Rebecca, I, I see craft materials here. I want to get to making something. Can you teach us something? Sure. Yeah. Okay. So, let's, so what I have here for you for a project is just assembling ornaments. Okay. And so we've got some pre cut pieces. Okay. So for Jeremy, We've got a gingerbread man. I love it. Okay. okay. And for Kelly, we have the square I snowman. Love that. And Adorable. so your pieces are in here. They're just pre cut. So, so these are my pre cut pieces those in are here. These are your pre cut pieces okay. that you can layer. I have real re eyeballs or dots. I'm going to use eyeballs. Okay. I love this. Yeah, how do you attach this then? Um, well, you're just layering, and then once you're done, I'll drop some magic glue on there, oh. and, which will wick underneath. So you just place oh everything goodness. on top the way you like right. it, and then the right. magic glue does all the rest. Right. Now, the only purpose of the glue is to hold it in place until I can. Get it in the kiln. Oh, gotcha. So the glue wow. won't burn off oh, well, before yeah, it starts sticking. Yeah. Those pieces are small and they can shift pretty easily. Right. How, oh, so obviously that's why you use this, the tweezers, because some of these uh -huh. pieces are so small. Some of the pieces are very small, yes. And you can use your own creative liberties, right? If I wanted to mix colors or do oh, anything, definitely. it's yeah. really up to the individual person, the artist. Correct. Correct. This is so much fun. You know, it is. Yeah. I'm not as steady as I used to be. So when you're in the studio, normally you're doing your own cutting. We yes. do, ha like here, we do have, you know, the pre-cooked pre dots, which are great for yes. kids if you don't want them to deal with glass. Right. But, uh, so normally, Kelly, you would be coming in and actually cutting your own squares. Oh, I would be cutting my own squares. You would actually be cutting your own squares. Okay. Now, I know you're going to be doing a giveaway on your social media. What are we giving away? We're actually giving away the ornaments that you're making today. Awesome. Uh, oh, seriously? Seriously. Oh, my goodness. Well, I'm going to have to really yeah. take some time and finish this up nice. Yes, I yes. want to make it really nice. And if they want to enter to win our ornaments, yes. then they just go to our Facebook page and they'll get to, to you know, post which ornament they want. So it's Creative oh. Escape Glass. Correct. So for their got, social. Correct. 
on Facebook. Correct? On Facebook, yep. and then I'm guessing you'll post pictures of the finished product. I will product. post pictures once they are. And mine is the gingerbread man. I feel like I really yeah. need to take some more time I with mine. I feel like I don't yeah. want to just throw this together. We're going to have to work at this. Yes, I, I really want to make it special. So whoever wins that will be great exactly. on their Christmas tree. Yep. Thank okay. you so much, Rebecca. Thank you. I love Thank this, Rebecca. You. She'll post that as soon yes. as we're done. So make sure you check that out. Okay. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> Ozarks Fox AM. We'll be right back. I got to focus yes, now. Yes, me too. Okay. I want it to be pretty. I love the blues. Welcome back to Ozarks Fox AM. Remember, tomorrow is Fabulous Friday. We'll be picking all the winners from yes. all the giveaways from the week. Except for today, we're announcing the winner of the Nest Interiors and Design. Winner, the $40 gift card goes to Carol Johnson. Congratulations, Carol. We'll notify you. That is right. We want to thank all our amazing guests, to, uh, guests today. We have Nest Interiors and Farm to Counter and Dr. Abna how do you say it? Abnagia. I'm not sure. Anyway, Your something like that. Mine. Yes. <laughs> okay, we've had amazing guests today. We want you to tune in every day so you don't miss a thing. Thanks to Blades and Shades, Crystal Fish, Discovery Center, Queen City Wine Dive, Sugar Plum Prince, Lashco, and all of you for watching today. See you guys tomorrow. Have bye a great bye. day.